the uncool is back and I really need your help. Um, I was um, driving by and I saw a garage sale and I'm not a big person on garage sales but I'm thinking I'm going to start going to more garage sales. I saw a table of stainless steel items and I thought hey let's check it out. And this is what I stumbled upon. It was for 50 cents. It's a double shot espresso maker. It's very vintage. Um, I don't know that much about this company and that's where I need your help. I'm going to clean it up with a stainless brush. We're going to take it apart, look at it, see um, if it needs a, a new seal. Um, but I think we might be able to get away with only a 50 cents purchase. And of course we have to see if it makes great coffee. Let's show the bottom of it so you can see the make and go from there. So it does say Mech Express M-E-C and of course Express E-S-P-R-E-S-S -S -S. Uh, There is a triangle it says N in the top P to the left and B to the right 1810 Italy and it's a cool slash wolf slash dog kind of symbol in the triangle I need your help I google this and I couldn't find this anywhere if you know anything about this company that would be super cool please share it in the comments as always your friend beyond cool so all the parts are here um, we do have the bottom chamber where it holds the water the reservoir it does have of course a safety valve and that's usually where the water line will be. Uh, you don't want to go above that. And then the filter. And we're going to shine all this up and then I'm going to show you. And what's so cool about this, and again, I need your help in finding out where this or anything about this company or if it still exists. There's a brass knob at the top, which is pretty cool. And I said knob. And then a brass handle. And then, of course, this is where the the espresso will come in. The most important part with this purchase is making sure that the seal still looks good. Um, and yeah, it looks amazing. So I don't need to replace that. The water won't leak. And trying to find that size with this make might be a little bit of a challenge. So let's clean this up. And what I'll use is my handy stainless steel sponge. And then we're going to get this bad boy on the stove. Look at this. Look at this score. After using the brush, it's one beauty. It's going to be also um, an item that you can put on display. Just, just the aesthetics is amazing. It is shiny. Um, and just to show you how small it is, I will bring an Illy espresso tin, regular size. And of course, um, it is bigger than this little one. This is just a double shot or two single shot um, espresso maker. And I again need your help out there. M-E-C Espress and figure out what that means um, and if the company still exists. So let's do what I always do. Get it ready to make espresso. I use distilled water. Um, just my preference you can use any water tap water of course and I'm just going right to the safety valve putting on the filter and then I'm going to use a because it's so small this um, stovetop espresso maker that I'm using a espresso spoon and again, going really slowly, not to make a mess and not to dirty the seal when I lock it. Let's see if this will actually make espresso that is delicious. We're going to find out very shortly. And again, need your help. I like doing it like that. I like to make a pyramid. That's my thing. The reason why is you do not tamper and then what you do is you slowly churn it around and when you feel that tension just a quarter churn and voila we're ready let's get this on the stove 
So, I always like putting it on high, and it's, it, people say, well, the warm, water has to warm up slowly. I just put it on the stove top, and I put it at the end, because this handle can get hot from the heat. And it is on high, but it's going to take some time to get it to the max heat. And that will give enough time for the water to um, boil properly and, of course, percolate to the top. I'm going to open this up. You're not technically supposed to, but I do want you to see the foam and, of course, the espresso coming out. It's going to take some time, but again, you can fast forward this part until you start seeing the coffee or just enjoy the sound and also um, everything that's so cool about espresso. And in that time, I can start getting my espresso cup ready. And also, I can reuse that spoon that I used to put the, grinds, the grounds in. And I'm going to go a little funky today. And I'm, I'm not going to even use a saucer. Um, this was a special gift from somebody. And I don't mind showing it. Some kind of artsy kind of espresso cup. So we're going to leave that to the side. As you can hear, the sound is ready going. And that's the water um, starting to percolate. Oh, the smell already. And there's no coffee yet or espresso. And as you can see that element, it's super hot. Kids at home, don't do this. Have always somebody around watching you. And by the way, no drinking coffee when you're a kid, unless it's espresso. <laughs> the good memories as a little kid going to Nona's house, her making espresso, filling it three quarters of a espresso cup full of milk and just adding a tad of espresso and then her homemade desserts just would make me like go wow this is what life is all about the simple things and I hear it I hear it come on come on I'm getting very impatient and that's another thing a lot of people say that I'm super 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 impatient Oh. The sounds changed a little bit. The sound changed a little bit. While doing that, people like sugar in their espresso. So I'll move this to the side just in case we need to put sugar in. But with me, I'm not a sugar kind of guy. So I'm going to move this to the side. And that, that will give me a better idea of how it's tasting. When I do enjoy this cup of espresso. The first time in my house buying this cool retro vintage espresso maker it's super cool oh it's coming it's coming I'll see if you can change the angle a little bit without look at that
So let's get my cup from the stove, the cool one, as a gift. Pour it in. The handle's not as hot as I thought it would be. Look at that steam come out. And as I said, it's a double shot espresso maker. You need to help me again. Look how beautiful that is. No, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I could have tightened it a little bit more. Um, next time I will. The seal, as you saw, uh, has was heavily used, so some water did seep through, but not enough to ruin this beautiful cup. Let me try this. Oh, wow. You need to find out where this company is or if this company still exists. We know it's in Italy. Um, it was manufactured in Italy. But again, this is beyond cool. Finding something for 50 cents that makes so much joy. Don't forget to subscribe to Beyond Cool. Hit that like button. And then, of course, in the comment section, if you know any history about this espresso maker, please let me know. Cheers for now.